football to Raider Nation. Gunslingers talking all things football. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jared Seach out of Utah talking a little bit of Chargers football with you today. This video is mainly dedicated to Mr. Melvin Gordon. Now, Melvin Gordon is a hell of a back. I know he had a massively disappointing season last year, but I'm here to tell you not to give up on this kid quite yet. A lot of people are calling him a bust. He may end up being a bust, but I think looking at his tape from Wisconsin, he has way too much talent just to bury him under the bust column. He really does. Now here are some reasons why not to give up on him. One, what did we do in 2013? Ryan Matthews was struggling. Our run game was pretty dang bad. But in 2013, uh, Ken Wisenhunt steps in and starts calling some amazing plays and gets our run game back to where it needs to be. Ryan Matthews, who was struggling at that point, put up over a thousand yards and multiple touchdowns. Now, what does this mean? What relevance does this have? Well, Ken Wisenhunt is back. He got fired from the Tennessee Titans as their head coach, comes back to San Diego as our offensive coordinator, and Frank Reich obviously wasn't doing the trick last season. Ken Wisenhunt, I don't know what he does, but his running game was fantastic for San Diego. I really think that that's going to help boost Melvin Gordon's numbers and get him in the damn end zone. Two, the draft is coming up, and we have a massive need for fixing our O-line. Tunsil, if he falls, is an obvious pick. That would fix so many aspects of our game. But if not, I'm really thinking that we should maybe trade down, trade up, do whatever we have to do to pick up some really genuine talent uh, in a tackle position. You've seen what Melvin Gordon can do when given room to run. As soon as he breaks that line, as soon as he gets around that line, he is gone towards the end zone at breakneck speed. What does this also do? Getting a, a good, strong line will also keep Philip Rivers from being on his back half the time. Watching tape from last year, he was on his back every other damn play. That's not gonna cut it. It will, if, if he's able to stand up with confidence and sling that ball, we're, I, just imagine what our play action would look like. Imagine what our, our running game would look like if we give uh, uh, Melvin Gordon space to break through. He's got the speed, he's got the elusiveness and vision to get around and just charge towards that end zone. So Melvin Gordon, I am not giving up on him yet. If you play fantasy, maybe consider taking him in the middle round next year. He might be a steal. So Chargers, if you're watching, fix that O-line. It has to be a priority. It has to be a priority. It must be. So many things. Two birds with one stone. Both sides, both, both aspects of our running game and our air game will be massively increased. Also, maintaining the health of our weapons. It's, it's, it's massively important, guys. I know Ramsey's such a tempting pick at number three, but that line needs to get fixed. This is Jared Seas from Chargers Football. I'm out. Listen, we already think you're pretty cool for watching this video, but be sure to hit that subscribe button to catch some more AFC West gunslingers.